Welcome to the Communication Diva Podcast, episode 114. On the podcast this week, Jen speaks with Caesar Abade, a project manager and the author of Project Management for You, a book designed to help people not trained in this area apply the tools of project management to their own lives. What a great idea. I've been looking for a long time for a system that would help me create plans and budgets and models to make my life more efficient and productive with a better use of my time. I can't wait to start reading this book and begin drawing Gantt charts of what my life plan could be like. I also can't wait until next year, in 2018, when Caesar comes out with the second book in his series, Project Implementation for You. Hey, this is Jen Swanson with the Communication Diva Podcast, the podcast that helps you to get the job, to love your work, and to advance your career. And this is episode 114, hard to believe. We're already heading into, uh, you know, higher numbers here, but I'm, uh, I'm happy that you're listening and I'm glad that you're here. And this is a shorter episode of the Communication Diva. Sometimes there are 20 minutes or something and another, other times there are 40 something. It depends on the time we've got and how much we have to say. And I could have spoken with Caesar a little bit longer, but he was uh, in between events and it was great that he had the chance to talk to us as it was. Caesar and I met probably in person in about 2013, but I think we'd met online before that with podcasting circles that we were both part of at the time. And Caesar is the host of two different podcasts. He's got Project Management for the Masses podcast, and he's got the Construction Industry podcast as well. So he talks on a number of different things on those shows. And he's a project manager, uh, pardon me, a project management professional. He's an author, a professional speaker, a business coach, and a consultant. And he also works for Automatic, which is the uh, the makers of WordPress.com. So he's a very busy guy. He's a fellow Canadian. He lives at the uh, eastern part of the country. I'm over here on the western coast. And, uh, and, and yeah, I'm uh, glad to be able to spend time with Caesar on the show and to have you listen to his ideas around how to use project management topics in your everyday life as well as in your job search and possibly even for the work that you do in the workplace. So here is my conversation that took place earlier this week with Caesar. So this is my conversation with Caesar Abade, who is the author, speaker, and podcaster. And welcome to the show, Caesar. Hi, Jen. How are you? Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for coming on. And I'd like you to start by telling us a little bit about what it is you do and how you got to be doing all these amazing things. <laughs> yeah. So I, um, you know, if you Google my name out there, what's going to come up is project management, project management, project management, because I've been podcasting about the topic and I wrote a book on this uh, when I had uh, this formal title of project manager. And I had it for over 10 years when I worked um, in um, our family business. Um, I have since, uh, for about a year now, I have uh, used <laughs> what I learned from project management and career advancement. And I kind of shift careers a little bit. And now I work for um, WordPress.com. And uh, I don't formally manage projects with that title. I mean, we do have projects there, but it's kind of a, a new company. I mean, it's not a new company, but the way they work is is very uh, out of the box. So they don't have the formal processes of, of project management that um, people might be familiar with. But I'm learning a lot, and it's certainly challenging the notions that I had of how we should work and how we should get things done uh, alone and in a team. So I, I worked as a project manager. I uh, podcast and blogged about this topic. I wrote a book on this. Um, 
and uh and now i'm uh, i'm working for wordpress.com and life is great <laughs> There you go. So I wanted to ask you today about project management and how that could help someone in their in their career, how learning about it and even knowing what it is would help somebody advance, perhaps. Sure. So so project management, I, I'm sure you've heard you've heard the, the term, you know, getting things done and being productive and things like that. Project management is uh, a way that companies typically use to get things done. So um, a project is a temporary endeavor that has a beginning and has an end and creates something unique. Okay, and usually you work with a team, but you can work alone as well. And just the fact that you're working alone does not make it a non-project. Okay, so and, and project management is the art of managing projects, as the name says. So, for example, Apple or Google, when they're going to launch a new product, uh, they are uh, creating something new. And that creation has a beginning and an end, right? And they use a team and they have a budget and they usually have a schedule and they use project management to deliver on that promise that they make to their uh, users and clients. Um, so they, they make a promise that this product is going to have this list of features. This product is going to cost this many dollars and it's going to take this long to make. And with project management, you can plan the work that you have ahead of you so you know the answers to those questions ahead of time uh, within, um, you know, some some uh, percentages, if you will. I mean, you're never 100% sure, but at least you can predict and you can make these promises. So how does this apply to career management and, and maybe getting a job or maybe getting a promotion? Well, if you learn a little bit about project management and how these companies manage to deliver on these complex projects like uh, the creation of the new iPad, for example, it's extremely complex. And yet they deliver on that promise every time, once a year, right? Right. <laughs> so they, they, they use, yeah, they have all these tools and techniques and you can learn about these things as well and apply that to your personal life. And then you can start looking at things that you need to accomplish in life as projects. So for example, getting a promotion um, could be a project for you, right? So because it, it, it creates something new, meaning you're going to have a new title. Right. <laughs> It has a beginning and an end, beginning right now, hopefully, and the end being, uh, let's say, within the year, you'd like to get the promotion so you can set a deadline for that. There is no budget associated with this. I mean, there could be a budget associated with this. Like if you have to get a, if you have to get some training and you have to pay for that and you have to get a certification and something to get that promotion so you can come up with a budget as well. And then once you have the definition and the timeline and that budget, you can use project management to to break that into that, that big project into manageable chunks so you can um, tackle that without losing your mind. <laughs> so it's kind of like goal setting, but it's it's a step-by-step -step process. It's goal setting, yes. Goal setting is more like on a personal level, and that works too. Project management is how companies usually, the the, the, the corporate world, that's how they do goal setting, right? They, they, they don't have like a little a fancy notebook where they do like a vision board and they and they dream about it and and they hope and pray right, <laughs> right. Uh, they they because they are answering to to their stockholders and 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 you know, all these stakeholders that that are counting on them so they are very methodic and they they have a very specific approach to uh, not only setting the goal but also achieving it so um and typically we we as you know, individuals, we don't really dig into project management because if you pick up a book on project management, the library, um, the language is very inaccessible. You know, they'll have Gantt charts and, and all these things, um, the diagrams and things like that, that you look at it and say, oh yeah, this looks very corporate and it doesn't apply to my life, which is true to a certain extent. But the basic concept behind that Gantt chart there's value there. And, and if you can kind of learn a little bit about that and start applying that to your personal life, you start uh, accomplishing things. That's how I launched my podcast. It was using project management. That's how I wrote my entire book was using project management. Um, that's how I got this job <laughs> that I love right now. So, um, so it does work. And because not, nobody else is doing it, if you are doing it, you're going to stand out and you're going to be able to progress in your career for sure. 
So I know that uh, we don't have a lot of time and I know that um, it's you've written a whole book on it, but how can you can you give some highlights of maybe some of the steps that go into project management? Just a, a quick overview. Yes. And I like to, uh, I get to ask that question a lot. And what comes to mind always is uh, the fact that we we like to write, like every time you have to deal with something complex, let's say you're asked by your boss to put on a, a conference or, or a luncheon for a group of clients or something different and complex. The first thing that you do, you start writing a to-do list, right? Right. And, um, and we all know how that works. It doesn't usually work very well. Um, and, and in your mind, you think, okay, I'm breaking this down, right? I'm breaking this big project into these to-do tasks that I need to do, which is a great way to think about it. But what the reason why that doesn't doesn't work is because a project, you know, uh, as I described at the beginning, is something new that you deliver. So it's a something, it's a noun, okay? So a book or a promotion or a new job, right? It's a noun. A to-do list is a list of verbs. <laughs> oh, right? okay. So you cannot break down a noun into verbs, right? You, you have to break down a noun into other nouns. And that to me is that the, the most important part of project management is how to break down something that's complex and complicated into smaller things and not actions. Because when you write a to-do list, you are basically telling yourself the way in which you're going to do those things. And you might not know at the beginning, right? So, so let's say you, you take the first to-do item and you do that one. And in the process of doing that one, you get some new insight into this project. Oh, maybe I shouldn't uh, hire um, a caterer. Maybe I should do, I, we should cook it in-house, okay? And then you go move on to the next to-do item and guess what it is? It's hire caterer, <laughs> right? Right. So, so now you're like, okay, I'm going to cross this off. So is that done? No, it's not done because it didn't do it. It's, it does, does, just doesn't apply to a project anymore. So food so, would have been a better title. You got it. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> food. And then you break down food further into uh, whatever uh, things that, you know, the food can be broken into. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know what that, that would be, you know, right. recipes or uh, menu. Um you know, a time of day, whatever. So, and then, <clears throat> excuse me. So when you break that down enough, so, so you break your project down into a first list of sub levels, right? Of sub deliverables, as we call it. And then you take each one of those and you do the same thing for them, right? So you take food and you break it down, you take venue and you break it down until you get to the point that you're kind of happy. Okay. This is something I can, I can actually deliver in a, a reasonable amount of time uh, let's say be, be in the amount of time between a day or a week, for example, you can set that parameter for you. It's the 80, 880, per, uh, 880 rule. It's a day or two weeks, between a day and two weeks, um, 40 hours, eight hours, 40, uh, eight hours, between eight hours and 80 hours. That's what I meant. Um, and then once you have those things, those are called work packages in project management. Okay. okay. So uh, you have things that can be done in a day and can be delivered in a day. And with that, let's say if you are working with a team, those are things that you can actually uh, delegate, oh, right? Okay. Instead of, and, yeah. and, and, and the person that you're delegating this to will love you for it because here is something simple and quick that they can check off and it's going to make the project move forward. So, um, so that's the thing that to me comes to mind. The, the, the basic thing about project management is how you break it down to make your life easier. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does. Now, now you've got my mind spinning here. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do this with any kind of a project. Yeah, yeah, you can do that with any. I did that with the book. So my book had, you know, cover design, uh, interior layout, the actual writing, uh, ISBN number. Uh, you, you've wrote, a, you've written books yeah. too, so you know. So all those things are sub deliverables of the big book project, right? And then. Um, and then later on, once you get to that work package, then you can think about tasks, right? So let's say one of my work packages was to um, uh, was uh, editing, right, for the book. Right. Now, am I going to edit this myself? I know, so you can make decisions there. So I'm going to hire someone, so that becomes a task, and that becomes a little mini project. You know, find the right editor for you, and then you can break that down as well if you want to. 
So this is a method of, of taking something that is, is known elsewhere and applying it to your own life and applying it to your own, uh, but in language that is easy to understand. So is that, is that what you've done with your book? That is exactly what I wanted to do with my book. See, I, even though I had this title of project manager for a while, I was working in a small company and we didn't have process, right? We didn't have a project management office. And a lot of these books, and, and uh, I started studying project management and I, I um, in, including, I, I studied to pass a certification on this. And, um, and I saw that 90% of the material did not apply to our little company. But in the process of learning, I said, yeah, this is kind of complicated and a little bit, you know, we're overshooting here, but the, the principle is solid. So how can we translate this into, into something that not only a small company can use, but also an individual can use as well? And, and really, like I, the, the, the tagline for my, for my podcast and for my book is that life is a project and you are the manager, right? <laughs> a, a, a life has, your life has a beginning and an end, and it creates something unique, which is your legacy, right? <laughs> right. Um, I love and, it. So, so and, and your life is composed by a sequence of projects, right? So you... Uh, get married, you know, your wedding is a project, you have your first child, that's a nine month project, you know, uh, <laughs> a so, lifetime project. <laughs> wow, the delivery, right? right the deliverable right. there. But, uh, but if you if you kind of start seeing your life as as not, not only finite, but also discrete, you know, it's a sequence of, of bursts of, of deliverables, you start moving forward, right? So um, you start getting and, and I talk about this in my book, you know, before I came across this concept, I was I, I was not going anywhere, you know, <laughs> I was uh, just waking up late, going to bed late, just going through the motions of life and not really accomplish anything. I've always been kind of smart because I like math and physics and I'm, I get it. I have an engineering degree, which is not hard, easy to get. But the fact that I could process information did not mean that I was actually accomplishing things in life until I came up, I came across this method, right? And then life has completely changed for me since I started looking at life this way. And and you've you've shared that with people by writing the book that you've written. That's right. Yeah. Yes. That's fantastic. So if you had a piece of advice for people listening out there, what would it be? Uh, yeah, you know what what makes me sad <laughs> uh, is um, when people see something that they want or that they want to accomplish in life. And I'm not talking about, you know, winning the lottery or, you know, something crazy, like I just simple things that, that I think people should be have access to, like getting a, a better job, right? right. Or, um, or getting fit, you know, right. <laughs> things like that. And what breaks my heart is that people, and I have this, I see this in my friends, in my connections, they look at it, they look at this thing in front of them that they want and they they don't take action because it's too complicated. Yeah. It's a fear of the unknown, right? Uh, so my advice is um, project management or any technique that will let you give, that will give you some clarity for planning um, can get you over this hurdle of the fear of the unknown. Part of the planning process of, of project management uh, generates a, a, a budget, a timeline, right? for whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Now, wouldn't it be great if you knew, let's say, if you knew ahead of time that to get this new job, it's going to take me this long, <laughs> it's going to cost me this much, and here's the next thing, the first thing I need to do. Yeah. And then when I'm done with that one, here's the next one. It's giving it, you a plan, it, yeah. Right. So, And I think a lot of people don't take action, they, and they are stuck in life because they are afraid to take this next step. And, and they honestly, they don't know, right? I didn't know. Right that you can use some of these techniques to kind of give you a, a better picture of what's what's ahead of you, and then you can get started. And once you get started, there's one foot in front of the other, right? So um, I'll give you an example. I have this job. It's uh, You can Google, you know, Automatic, which is the name of the company that owns WordPress.com, and you'll find lots of articles about how wonderful it is, it is to work here. And uh, it's one of the one of the best companies to work for. The, the, it's, the, the environment's amazing with the, the perks and how they do things. It's, it's crazy. And, um, and some of my friends have uh, wanted to apply for this job and they, they look at it and they don't. 
And I'm like, dude, you can do this. You know, you're smart. You have the background, but it's just the hiring process is, is, is it just paralyzes them. Right. Um, but if you look at it as a project and you break it down and you take one step at a time every day, you can make progress towards your goal. So that's my advice is, uh, don't be afraid of the unknown. There are tools, there are people who can, who can help you make that more known. And then, and then you can, and not only that, but also what is the next action you need to take to move in that direction? Yeah. The first next step. Yes. So if people want to find out where to get your book and where to listen to your podcast, where can they go? Yeah. So you can, you can find more information on the book. If you go to projectmanagementforyou.com and uh, the podcast is called project management for the masses. It's, um, the podcast is more, a little bit more directed to people in the field of project management, but I'm about to, um, relaunch it in a slightly different format in which we're going to talk more about leadership, about, um, self-management and things like that. And I think that's going to be a, uh, have a more broad approach, uh, appeal to people. So you can find the podcast at PM for the masses.com and also in your usual suspects, iTunes and Stitcher and uh, Google play. Great. Well, thank you Caesar for all of this. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to reading that book and to, uh, to trying out uh, my life as a series of projects. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great already. You don't even know it. <laughs> well, thanks so much and for sharing your uh, your thoughts with Communication Diva. Thank you, Jen. It was a pleasure. Hope you enjoyed that and wrote some things down and are planning to go over and check out Caesar's website and the book that he's got called Project Management for You. I know that I'm certainly looking forward to taking a look at it a little more closely and seeing how I can apply some of the ideas that he mentioned in, in the conversation and to some of the things that I've got on the back burner at the moment and I'm hoping to accomplish this year in 2017. If you like this show, I ask you to come on over to iTunes, the Communication Diva podcast, give us a review that helps boost the uh, listenership and invites other people to find us in the rating system. So we would love to have you do that. If you would like to share this episode with a friend, with someone who might benefit, you can do that right from the show notes page at communicationdiva.com. Look under the either the blog or the podcast tab and you'll find the show notes a picture of caesar links to all of uh, his information where you can find him and at the bottom there are share buttons so you can share uh, you can email the episode you can share it with your friends on social media all of that would be greatly appreciated so until next time happy managing your projects and, uh, and I hope to, uh, to have you tune in very soon. Take care. This is Jen Swanson.